All right, how is everybody tonight? So, it is finally upon us, the day we've all been waiting for. I know I promised everybody a video breaking down numbers and stuff like that, but to be honest with you, I lost interest in it a few weeks ago because this thing's going to be so hard to call tomorrow. Um, it's going to be extremely hard to call. Um, this is a very important race for our state and probably for the nation. Um, the whole world is watching and I believe it's very important for both sides, um, whoever you support, that um, that you go out and vote, whether you're for Roy Moore or you're for Doug Jones. Um, each person's candidate is very important. So, or each person's candidate is very important to them. Um, you know, do you want to go down the path of more, or do you want to choose a alternative option with Jones? Um, I've decided that in order to make it partisan, that I was not going to vote tomorrow, but I'm actually going to write in a third party candidate, um, just so that my prediction will not, nobody will think I'm partisan. I've looked at this race a million different ways. I've tried to analyze it from you know, rural versus urban um, turnout, uh, you know, who's going to show up, who's not going to show up. Um, you know, at first I didn't think um, Jones was going to get um, the turnout in the black community he needed, but now that I do, because Moore's made some very, very racist comments here of late that I actually listened to him twice to make sure I heard him right when he said that. Um, so I believe, honestly, what this race is going to come down to is who turns out and who stays at home. Um, I feel that, um, the more voter is probably more loyal. Um, you know, um, I get a lot of people who are especially the rural area. I mean, the rural area is so, so difficult to pull. I mean, if the rural area shows up, I think Moore's got it. Um, I don't think the I-65 quarter vote in, is going to be enough to give Jones the vote. Because, see, there's 455,000 registered voters in Jefferson County. Um, so you got to figure what, I don't know, there's in a normal election, 200-something thousand would turn out. I think in this one you'll be lucky if you get a hundred thousand show out show up. Um, so then for Jones, you got to start looking. Right, where's your next grab of votes? Well, your next grab of votes is going to be Montgomery. I expect Jones to run very well in Montgomery. Um, uh, then you got to go to another population center, uh, Madison. Mm, that's a tough one. You know, um, that's a tough one. Moore only lost. Madison by a thousand votes to Strange, um, so I expect Jones to do well in Madison, but I expect more to do well there also. Um, so now you've got to go. All right, what's what's left on the board? Uh, Mobile, okay, Mobile. Um, more Strange was counting on that heavily during the runoff, and Moore actually won Mobile County. Either one Mobile County by a thousand votes or he lost it one way or another. I can't remember. But anyway, it was very tight. But whatever, if Jones does do well in Mobile County, whatever he does in Mobile County is going to get swamped with what Moore does in, Bald in neighboring Baldwin County. So we're just going to call that a wash. Uh, so where do you go to now? You've uh, The Black Belt region, the 6th Congressional District. Uh, a lot of chunk of votes there. Um Jones, you know, that's that's uh, Jones's country, uh, or Jones's, um, um, a lot of, his, uh, excuse me, a huge vote of his, block of his vote right there. So then you've got to come out and you've got to look at something else here. Let's break down the actual numbers of it. 78% of the people said that, 78% of Republicans said they were still voting for more. 13% of Republicans said they was voting for Jones. 9% of those just sitting this one out. In the runoff, there was almost a half million voters. 
Uh, and and Doug Jones only got 100,000 votes in the primary, 109,000 votes. Even if you took half of Luther Strange's votes, added them onto Doug Jones, that still wouldn't be enough t to take overtake more. Also, Moore still leads with 73 evangelicals, 56% um, of white high school educated um, people and 53% of men. That's Moore's wheelhouse, white males, pure and simple. If Moore turns out the vote in with white males upwards to 60% of the vote, 62% of the vote, it's over. It's a wash. Um, Jones' only hope is to cut in to that white male turnout and to um, basically hope the rural area stays down and he has a heavy turnout in Jefferson County. <coughs> One of the wild cards in this race is maybe Shelby County. Heavily Republican area always goes there. Um, Jones did well. I mean, um, excuse me, um, Surprisingly, Moore did very well in um, Shelby County during the runoff against Luther Strange. I actually expected uh, Strange to beat him a lot worse, but Moore got 12,000 votes in Shelby County to Strange's 14,000. So Jones would have to cut into there, and I just don't see it. Um, Moore carried 63 counties in the runoff against Strange. Um I don't see it being that much different. I think I mean you've got the eight or nine black belt counties, ten. I expect Jones to carry those ten counties. I expect him to carry uh Montgomery and Jefferson. The thing about Jefferson you gotta realize is is yeah, he may have a huge urban turnout and the I sixty five quarter, I've talked about that a lot. That's where your Mountain Brook, your Vestavia, your uh, Hoover Republicans, your rich Republicans live. And yeah, they're probably either going to vote for Jones or sit this one out. But then you got to pull back out and you got to look at the rest of the county. What's still out there? You've got places like Pence and Trustville, Gardendale, Fultondale, and Moore is just going to run it up in these areas. I mean, you know, so they're saying that if there's. I, if there's a 17% turnout, I would probably. That's 17.7 in the primary. In the runoff, so I would be surprised <laughs> if it's a low turnout. Um, Jones would have to have about a 200,000 vote cushion coming out of Montgomery, Jefferson, um, Mobile, and Madison County, and I just don't see him having that kind of cushion. And if he does have that kind of cushion, is that going to make up for the 7,000 votes Moore gets in Blount County, the 6,000 he gets in Walker County, you know, the 8,000 cushion he gets in Marshall? You know, yes, these are small counties, but they are, he's, Moore's going to run it up in such numbers in these rural areas. I mean, he's going to carry some of these counties with 75, 80%. I mean, I promise you I know it. And then there's these voters out there that are not being heard on these polls. I mean, I know so many of them that will not admit that they're voting for Roy Moore, and I call them leaners. And people's like, what, what's a leaner? You know, I'll ask people, like, so who are you voting for in this race? And people kind of look around, they lean in and go, yeah, I think I'm voting for Moore. Um, so there's a lot of people who are voting for Roy Moore that will not admit it. Um, polls are kind of all over the place. Last one I said... Had more of the seven-point lead. There's some that showed Jones in the lead. But there's one interesting tidbit of all this. Um, they've been doing a... Um, one of the ones that showed Jones with a like a six or seven-point lead a few weeks ago. Um, they d used two samples. Uh, they used um, um, a person-to-person -person call. And they used a robocall, where it was just, you know, computer-generated phone call. Who are you voting for in this race? Well, the pollsters found a five-point bounce for more in the robocall and the person-to-person -person call. So there were people that were are voting for more that wouldn't admit it. Um, I touched on earlier that um, 
I thought the Moore voter was more loyal than the Jones voter. Um, and that can be helpful. And then again, it also can be harmful. I mean, George Wallace was the one that said that people are more apt to show up to vote against somebody than to vote for them. So is there enough people out there that's going to vote against Moore because he's Roy Moore? Or is the Moore voter, um, is the loyalty of the Moore voter going to outride that? Um, in 2012, when Roy Moore was reelected to Supreme Court Justice of the uh, Alabama Senate, um, he was running against Bob Vance Jr., and uh, President Obama was up for re-election, and Mitt Romney carried this state with about 64, 65% of the vote. Well, Moore only beat Bob Vance with 51.5% of the vote. Now, of course, that was with a large, much larger turnout. Um, that's what favors would favor Jones, too. Jones would have to get it up to 30% or more in, in a turnout. And I just, I don't see it being that high tomorrow. They were two weeks before Christmas. It's an awful election year at, uh, you know, I just don't see a lot of people going to the polls. I think the race is going to come down to who gets their people out. <sighs> Again, I think the more voters, more loyal, uh, pardon the pun, but I think that the um, the Jones people have a very good ground game. Um, you know, uh, more kind of reminds me of a, <coughs> of a team, of a football team with a lead and you know, he's not been making any stops, and basically he's trying to just run out the clock, you know. Sit out his lead, run out the clock. Can he do it? Can he hold on and run out the clock? I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it depends. I mean, I, don't, I mean, you can't go by polls in this race. I mean, it's hard to poll, you know, there's so many of these you know, it's hard to gauge these people like from Fort Payne. I'm just throwing out a place like there, you know. And I've seen these people interviewed, and they're very loyal. I mean, they don't care if these accusations against Moore are true or false. Um, I'm not even debating that with anybody tonight. Um, but they don't care. They they really don't. Um, um, it doesn't matter to them. Um, they're going to vote for him regardless. You've not seen uh, any of that change in his public throughout there. So... Tomorrow's race is going to be interesting. I say about a 17% turnout. Um, take take your hats off to Doug Jobs. He's run a great campaign. I think his people's did a great job. Um, I think he's a uh, very sincere man. Uh, I've met him. Very nice man. But as far as, as tomorrow night's race, Expect a nail biter. Expect Jones to keep it close, but more wins in the end by two percent. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great evening and go vote tomorrow.